Hi there, this is Chris from PC Gamer. This video is just to give you a quick overview of the options in Tomb Raider for the PC. Now, apologies if the mic quality isn't great. I'm recording this at home because we've only just got access to the game on launch, but I want to get this video done fairly quickly. Uh, Square Enix's track record for PC ports recently has been pretty good. Um, Sleeping Dogs was good, Deus Ex was good, and from what I've played of Tomb Raider so far, just a couple of hours, it seems to be sticking to that, actually. As you can see, resolution is, is absolutely what you'd expect. Uh, it's running at 720p here for the purpose of recording. I wouldn't run the game at that. There's other options to uh, change the fresh rate. Uh, V-Sync can be triple buffer, double buffer, and off. There's also um, support for full screen, exclusive full screen options, multiple displays, and you can force the monitor aspect ratio to be something else if you wish. It's just a generic quality setting. There's also support for 3D monitors, but I don't have one, so there you go. And uh, quality, this is a general quality setting, uh, which allows you to force everything up. Uh, texture quality, anisotropic filtering, um, fast proximal anti-aliasing, and super sample anti-aliasing, as you would expect. And then regular settings for shadow shadow resolution, level of detail, reflections, and sort of general graphic stuff that isn't support for field of view, um, which might be a shame for some people. As it's a third person game, it's probably less essential, but Anyway, it's worth knowing in advance. Now, the only kind of standout setting on graphics, which we'll get to at the end of this video, is hair quality. This is PC exclusive, apparently, and allows you to switch between AMD's exclusive Tress Effects fancy hair and um, regular non-fancy hair. Um, it isn't possible to switch hair off, incidentally, as you might expect. Elsewhere, it's possible to remap all of the controls on the keyboard, which is welcome, as well as set alternates for most of them. And also, handily, you can switch mouse smoothing off, which will be welcome to a lot of people, uh, with independent um, support for aim sensitivity and mouse sensitivity. And, of course, gamepad support, as you'd expect, although you cannot, as far as I know, rebind the gamepad inputs. Anyway, it's just a quick overview. Hope it helps if you're still on the fence about Tomb Raider. We'll have a full review later in the week. And for now, just have a quick look using the in-game benchmark feature, another good touch have a look at the difference between fancy hair and non-fancy hair. Thanks for watching.